Also new tonight at 11, Hilliard City Schools Board of Education makes a crucial vote when it comes to the masking decision and going back to school. NBC4's Karina Chung joins us live outside Weaver Middle School where the board met just a few hours ago. Karina. Well, Jen, the meeting space was packed with about a couple hundred parents, all with strong opinions on masking. Now, the board did allow each parent who wanted to the time to speak, but in the end voted on a resolution of their own. Take a listen. From personal choice. You should be able to wear a mask, okay? But I also feel like as, as a citizen of the United States, I have the right to raise my children without masks to universal masking. The virus doesn't care about our opinions on masks. It is just doing what it does, which is replicate and spread through the air to as many warm bodies as it can. The crowd of Hilliard City school parents split on what should be in place August 19th for back to school. The board allowed for all parents to speak Monday night, extending public comment past the approved 45 minutes. With all due respect, you are a school board. You are not a medical board. You have no authority. <laughs> You have no authority to determine or enforce any medical restrictions or mandates. But I believe my daughter has the freedom to safely attend school in person. In the end, the board the voted. Mr. Perry. Yes. Ms. Whiting. Yes. Mr. Abbott. Yes. Mr. To Lambert, a resolution yes. that calls for masking on buses and even more so puts the power of the masking decision in the superintendent's hands. This authorizes uh, the superintendent um, to make determinations about the use of masks at the uh, classroom, the building, and district-wide levels. The board sharing their opinions on the matter as well. I have already shared with Mr. Stewart that I believe that safety, the safety of our youngest students who are unable to be vaccinated is crucial. I have full faith and confidence in them to make these decisions after they've considered all of the data. So all in all, the board did not vote on a specific policy for back to school, but rather put the power into the superintendent's hand. Now, he was not available to speak to me tonight, but a spokesperson tells me we should have more information on masking for the start of school, most likely tomorrow morning. Local for you here in Hilliard, Karina Chung, NBC4.